What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, we're gonna be putting some new goodies on the new quad, so stay tuned. All right, if you haven't noticed, I bought a new quad. I bought a CF Moto 600 and uh, I took it out last weekend. And if you haven't seen that video already, I'll put a link down below. Make sure you check it out. It's the first ride on the new quad, but uh, Black Friday was just last week. So what we're doing is goodies are starting to show up and now we get to install the goodies. Even over here, we got the SS360 um, sand snow tires. They just showed up. That's for this YXZ here. And uh, the other goodies that we got for this, I got some mirrors, I got some wheel spacers, and I got an exhaust tip that I fabbed up myself, which sounds pretty awesome. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you that also. First off, I'm gonna have to uh, move some stuff around so that we can actually work on this thing, get the YXZ moved out, tires moved out of the way, blah, 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 blah. But we'll give you a cold startup of the new exhaust that I just put on here. I uh, actually fabbed it myself, but there is a company out there that makes essentially the exact same thing that I fabbed. Um, whiskey Bent Exhaust, I believe is what they're, uh, I'll put a link down below. Just, you know, I kind of took their idea, uh, made my own. Uh, basically, I'll put some pictures in here, but basically what I did was I bought some screen, I bought uh, an elbow, and I just cut it and welded it and uh, made my own exhaust tip. And now it sounds a little burlier, so it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead, do the uh, cold start, let you know how it sounds, and we'll move some stuff around, start working on this thing. Okay, jump on it, start Eventually. Okay, jump on there, it's warmed up. Give it a couple reps. Carson Extreme got it all uh, organized. Now we can work on this. We're going to start off by doing the uh, spacers. Um, Carson's got his own YouTube channel also. Yep. Where should we check it out at? Link in the description. What's the name of your channel? Carson Extreme. All right. Well, be sure to hit that up. Let's go ahead and start uh, jacking this thing up, putting the spacers on here. Then we'll get to the mirrors. And uh, yeah, then we'll be good to go. Here are the wheel spacers we are about to install. Um, I got these on Amazon. I got a set of four of them for 87 bucks. I'll put a link down below in the uh, description. Check that out. You can purchase them there. But basically, this is how they come. I haven't messed with them yet. But they uh, come with lug nuts. Those go in here to hold it on there. But there's two of them, inch and a half. Dragon Ball is the brand. So let's go ahead, get these babies installed. Now the reason why I'm going to add spacers is because this is just slightly, slightly, a little bit too wide. So adding that uh, inch and a half on each side, it's gonna be perfect. And then I'm gonna be able to use this rack, which I use for my side by side, so that I can tow the quad, tow the truck, and tow the trailer all on this rack.
There we go, we got the spacer on. Ran into a little bit of an issue though. Um, I ended up using the lug nuts, the factory lug nuts, to hold on the spacer because these bolts are actually too long on the spacer. So what happens is when you use the nuts that are supplied, which is holding on the tire for now until I get new lug nuts, um, basically what happens is you tighten it with these and then um, the lug nut is too shallow to go on the outside of here and it bottoms out so your tire is not actually even tight. Right now it's perfectly fine now, but I've just got the lug nuts holding on the spacer and then the nuts that are supposed to hold on the spacer are holding on the tire. But not in this video, but I will fix this. Uh, I'll order some. I had no idea that this was gonna happen, but we got one side done. Now we're gonna do the other side and uh, do the fronts as well. Show you kind of what I'm talking about. I use the uh, lug nuts that go on the wheels here, which is perfectly fine because they don't protrude outside because this is an inch and a half, so it has plenty of room. So those will be good compared to this versus this long. I don't know, that's probably about an inch and a quarter or so. So I just got to get new lug nuts and we'll be good to go and roadworthy. There we go, now it looks way cooler. Got a little more stance to it, a little bit wider. Hopefully I don't get too muddy now because it sticks out a little bit past the fenders. But I think for what I need it for, it's gonna be worth it. And it looks a little bit cooler. And in case you're wondering, if you were uh, wondering how to uh, get the tires from stop spinning when you're doing the lug nuts, just lock this up here. Stops it from uh, spinning. So there we go. I'm going to turn it around, get the YXZ back in here, then we're going to start on the mirrors. Here's the most exciting part of the video the mirrors. Oh, snap. Here they are. I got these on Amazon. What's up guys? Got these on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the uh, description, but basically you got these, this little hardware on here. You put it on the handlebars. These guys will go into there like that. And then we'll be able to see behind us. Yay. I know, not very exciting mod, but something that I need and I would like so that I can see behind me without turning around. Just for safety's wise, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna go ahead, install these, and uh, if I have any tips or tricks, I'll let you know. One eternity later. But kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Now I just gotta figure out where I want it, and then we'll come down, tighten this nut, and then this has a little sleeve that goes over that, and we'll be good to go. Then we'll be able to see a sick GTI in the back. For this other side, all you got to do is there's two screws down here, right next to the throttle. You can loosen this up, and then if you need to, you can loosen up uh, the brake reservoir. Some Allen heads, there's one here, and one up here, right there, and you can loosen that. And then we'll be able to spread those apart and make enough room in between here for the other mirror. A few moments later. Just like that, we got both mirrors on there. Super easy, easy, easy mod. Anybody can do it. We've got spacers on here. Easy mod, anybody can do that. We've got the exhaust going on there. This has been a good video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, right? So you'll hit that thumbs up and you'll subscribe to the channel, please. All right, so thanks for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Peace out. Bye guys. Hey.